Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of, well, it's going to be May 19th through the 25th, through the 25th. Uh, I do apologize. I, I, I just can't get them all done. <laughs> I got so many uh, private readings and these, I just, it's crazy. So anyway, uh, you will be, this will be the 19th through the 25th for Libra. So let's just see what comes up for the next seven days, okay? So we're going to start right here for an overall energy. Then we're going to use this deck right here. So what do we have for Libra? Dear God, angel, spirits, and universe, what do we have for the sign of Libra for the next seven days? What do we have for Libra? Four of Cups reversed. Now this is interested in something new. After being discontent, you're ready for something new. You're interested, re-energized. You're looking forward now, seizing the new opportunity. You may have missed an opportunity. You may, may have missed several opportunities, crying over a loss, moping, uh, holding on to a third party, something like that. But this is being uh, interested in taking a new opportunity. This is the end of stagnation, okay? That's what that is in reverse. You'd rather have the Four of Cups in reverse because it's no longer uh, thinking about it. It's actually taking it. I see it. I want it. I gotta have it. You know. So this is a new opportunity being presented to you and taking it. So yeah. So this is an opportunity for emotional fulfillment that may be coming to you and you actually grabbing it. So let's get started. What do we have for Libra for the next seven days? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what do we have for Libra? Day one. So this would be Tuesday the 19th. What about the 20th? What about the 20th? Or Wednesday? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And Monday, Monday the 25th, please, for Libra. So, it looks as though you're seizing a new opportunity. You may be seeing things differently. You may be getting a new perspective. You Maybe you've received some sort of clarity. Maybe you're wise enough to know better, better about a situation but you know when the queen of swords comes up in your reading libra i think that you are absolutely clear on where you're going there's no confusion here you know exactly what's happening you're very in tune you're very smart you're very wise okay i don't think there's anybody that can pull the wool over your eyes it could be a very intense week i feel like um <laughs> This is a very independent individual right here who um, has all the power in the world. So I think that you know the truth. I feel like the power is in your hands and you have an opportunity this week. I feel like somebody is very interested in you and you may have been protecting yourself. Maybe you were cold. Maybe you've been hurt. Maybe you've been independent for a while and you've been having a hard time opening up. Something like that. But it feels like you got this new interest that is um, that you're looking at. Put it that way. You could be dealing with uh, another air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, or a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Whatever is going on, when you get the Queen of Swords, it's like 
that's you, that's your energy, that's you seeing completely clearly, knowing exactly what's going on this week. So on Tuesday, we got the Hierophant reversed and the King of Wands. Could be dealing with the Taurus, could be dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but this is taking action. There is no commitment here. This is a broken marriage, a broken relationship, a lack of faith. Um, they, we have an individual that is under a lot of social pressure that isn't very spiritual. This person is being uh, controlled by society. Therefore, they are not taking any action or they are very materialistic, um, not very grounded. We, this is faithless. No faith, doesn't believe, doesn't believe in commitment. This is Tuesday. Doesn't listen to their gut. Somebody that does the opposite of what they say. You could be dealing with an individual that doesn't tell the truth. But the, the King of Wands is an individual energy of taking action. And it's turning your back. Somebody is finding the strength to turn their back on... A, feels like you're dealing with an, a liar. It feels like you're dealing with somebody who... Uh, this person has really tested you. They, they've really, really tested your faith in them. And they've lied to you. They've lied to you about commitment. And I think that you're ready to travel. You're ready to explore. Right? So on Tuesday, I think that you are turning your back on an individual that can't do the right thing or won't do the right thing. It's like the relationship is no longer, they're not, it's not on the same page. Things have been upside down for a while and I feel like, you know, now you are taking on that King of Wands energy and you're finding the strength to go to another place. It's like, I'm going to another place. I'm traveling. I'm, I'm ready for a new adventure. Okay, I think you're getting creative and you've made a decision. I think that you have made a decision on Tuesday to take action. All right. Wednesday. Judgment reversed in the two of pentacles. Judgment reversed. Lack of awareness. Unaware. A poor judgment call. Moving on from that bad choice. Needing to move on from that bad choice. There's, there's, there's poor health here. We have an individual that hasn't been listening. They haven't been listening, refusing to listen to anybody. And because they've been refusing to listen and they're not awakened, definitely not spiritual with the Hierophant and the Judgment card reversed, both of them. We have an individual that is not awakened at all. And this could be you or the person that you're dealing with. This person is not awakened. They, they are spiritual by any means whatsoever. And they've been causing a lot of chaos in your life. And I feel like you've been on this teeter-totter. You see, we have a teeter-totter here. And, you know, you're about to fall off. I think that you've been missing other opportunities, playing games with this person, going up and down and up and down and up and down and wanting to hang on. Uh, but I think that was a poor judgment call. I think it, that you were, somebody may have been refusing to accept the truth or refusing to see the truth, hoping for a reconciliation, hoping that if they hang on and keep playing these games that there would be. But I think on Tuesday, you know, you're, you're probably thinking about letting go. You're probably thinking about getting off of this teeter-totter, right? Maybe something is going to happen that m makes you fly off. Okay, somebody may land, they may land on the other side of you and uh, cause you to fall off this teeter-totter. I think that's what's going to happen. I think you're getting off the teeter-totter with whoever this person is that you've been hoping for a reconciliation with. You're getting off the teeter-totter. Something has happened. There's a change. It's like... You're ready. You're ready for something new. You're ready for this. I'm telling you what. And there is a new opportunity here. There absolutely is this week. So the Wheel of Fortune reversed on Thursday. And the Five of Cups. That's grieving over a loss. This is a horrendous loss. This is the past coming back to haunt you. This is repeating the same mistakes over and over and over and over again. So somebody has been continued to repeat the same mistakes, refusing to move on, refusing to spin the wheel, refusing to step into their old life. But this is, this is, uh, you know, 
being, it's not meant to be. It's not meant to be with the Wheel of Fortune reversed. You're not meant to, to stay in the past. You're not meant to cry and grieve and be alone. There's another opportunity for love here. So on Thursday, I mean, the Wheel of Fortune reversed is a shocking, and this is grieving, and this is a shocking loss that you need to move on from. So on Thursday, we have, looks like there's some sort of sadness here, not realizing that there's an opportunity for love in another direction. But you're going to realize it. You are going to realize it. Something is happening this week that you have been reluctant to let go of. But I think you're letting it go. You notice that it's washing away. The pain is washing away. It's like you're letting it go. On Thursday, you're really making good strides. It's like you've chosen to let it go. That's what I see. It's like you don't want to keep repeating this. You don't want to keep doing this. You don't want to keep being stuck. Something hasn't been working out. Holding on to this person in the past hasn't been working out. And I think you're letting it go. You're letting it wash away. You're letting it go. You are. This week you're letting somebody go. You're done crying about it. I think Thursday is a day of, I think it's deep sadness. It is. It is. The Five of Cups is sadness. It's sorrow. It's, it's, it's mourning the loss. The Five of Cups is about mourning a loss, and, and the Wheel of Fortune reversed is a loss. It's an unfortunate setback, an unfortunate loss. So yes, this is an unfortunate loss, but there's a new opportunity here. There really, really, really is with that Four of Cups reversed. On Friday, the Emperor reversed and the Ten of Swords. Now, this looks like it's a near-death experience. This person may think that they're getting away with it. It's a scary situation. There could be a fight. Somebody may have been stabbed in the back. Could be dealing with a father. Could be dealing with a husband or a boss. Or somebody that is in authority. Which I do see that we have somebody in authority here as well. With the Hierophant reversed. Or they think they are. They think they're in authority. But whoever it is that thinks they're in authority is... They're in superficial authority, you know. Yeah, maybe socially... Or in some way, but they aren't very spiritual. But anyhow, um, we're talking about Friday here. We have the Emperor reversed. This is a narcissistic individual or a tyrant to somebody that is corrupt that only cares about themselves. This person is very self-centered and unreasonable, um, very entitled and has deserted you. There's a person that has deserted you. They're not interested in helping. They don't take responsibility. Uh, they break the law. They're very controlling, um, very mean. So you're dealing with a mean individual who stabbed you in the back, you know, may have escaped. They're getting away with it. They think they're getting away with it. You may feel co very, very down to like... You're not going to survive, but you are going to survive. So I feel like this is, is probably a rough week by the looks of things. This is. I'm not going to pretend. I don't know if you're dealing with a father or a husband that um, is leaving you. They're leaving you unexpectedly or they left you unexpectedly. They left you to die or, or they left you alone or who knows what happened. And I know that's a strong word, but they left you in a lot of pain. Put it that way. Somebody left you in a lot of pain, but I think that you're going to survive. I do think that you're going to survive. Um, obviously, you're going to survive um, from this individual that is very, very... hard to deal with, mean, self-centered, doesn't care. You got an individual that you have been holding on to that doesn't care. They're very much about social pressure, about society, about what it looks like to the outside world. You could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus or a Leo or a Sagittarius. The Emperor is typically Aries or Taurus to me, somebody that is very dominant and strong. 
King of Wands is Aries, and the ter and the in the Hierophant is Taurus. So I feel like we have an Aries or a Taurus here that may have really, really is leaving you in some sort of serious pain, or it's a father. Could have to do with a father. Um, or a husband or a boss or something like that this person has hurt you and they've gotten away with it or they think that they're getting away with it or something like that I think that Friday is going to be a day where you have to pick yourself up you have to pick yourself up and, and go ask for help or or something like that you may need some sort of maybe you need some medicine or you need some wet respite or you need a doctor or you need a nurse or something like that I feel like on Friday you are going to be in some sort of pain over what has happened with this individual that didn't take care of you. Okay? Um, interesting. Saturday. Saturday. Eight of Wands and the Hangman Reverse. So this is messages. This is news arriving on Saturday out of thin air so all of, some news is going to arrive on Saturday messages texts something like that is going to arrive information out of thin air it's gonna come in some and look at the it looks like there's a tornado of some sort so it comes in fast something is going to change really really it's like the weather changes really really fast on Saturday the weather changes something changes really fast on Saturday the hangman reversed this is struggling to let go obsessed not learning a lesson hiding something missing an opportunity realizing Somebody is going to realize that they have missed an opportunity on Saturday. Maybe it's you, because we have taking a new opportunity here. Now, now when you give these card, these this card, these this reading could be for the other person. They may have somebody new. Somebody has somebody new here with this Four of Cups reversed, and this is a horrendous loss. It is. It is. There is sadness here. There's sadness over the fact that. You know, somebody has somebody new and they have moved in that direction. Anyway, this is this is uh, struggling to let go. Becoming, becoming enlightened. So I feel like uh, on Saturday, we have an individual that is deciding to let go. They were struggling to let go, but they're deciding to let go. Instead of just hanging there and hanging on, it's like they're standing up now. Standing up. And this is, this is like a sudden change. It definitely is a sudden change on Saturday. Now it's interesting because the hangman in the upright goes into a state of enlightenment. But here this is like not waking up. This is not a waking up. So, something not waking up, refusing to wake up. Something not waking up on Saturday. Refusing not to wake up, refusing to wake up, refusing to see, refusing to change. So we got somebody is changing, but somebody is not because we got two different cards here, two different people. There's a change in the weather. There's a change in circumstances. This person is very stubborn, holding on. I need to get another card. Oh, yes, holding on, holding on for dear life. Not wanting to let go. Saturday, Ten of Wands, holding on. Uh, overwhelmed, carrying a burden that needs to be let go. Really, really, really trying to prove something. Both these cards. 
Somebody is trying, they're going to, they, they could collapse. This is too much. Somebody's trying to do too much. They're trying to prove a point that they didn't make a mistake. They're trying to prove that they can do this, that they can hold out. It's like, and they're trying to prove it to, to who? To who? Themselves, maybe? Fighting an uphill battle. This is, this is definitely uh, stressful. It is stressful. I think we have somebody here that may work themselves, you know, into some sort of situation with and it's funny that I said go to the hospital. They may end up in the hospital. They may they may overdo it. Somebody may a overdo it and they, you know, collapse. It's like lugging wood or something like that. Somebody is like lugging wood or trying to carry too much and, you know, they fall down. They fall down. They get, you know, I feel like the, there's wiggly legs here. It feels like there's wiggly legs and they, they fall down, which is interesting. And the sticks go flying. Yeah, what the hell is going on? If you're working with wood on Saturday, you know, just be careful, okay? Something to do with wood or brooms or something like that, or cleaning and tripping and falling and ending up in the hospital. And I don't know who this is for, but Saturday, I think you need to be careful, okay? This is like a storm brewing, too, as well. There could be something that is brewing in the background that you don't see coming, and it changes everything. Okay, so something is going to happen on Saturday that has that is going to uh, force you to let go of something that you have been hanging on to. It's like you you can't carry this. You cannot. You cannot carry this burden any longer. It's time to let it go. Saturday, you're going to be letting go of something, like it or not. Sunday, Knight of Cups and the Death card reversed. So this is emotional support. This is somebody that is very caring. It's compassionate, sensitive, intense. So I think it's going to be an emotional day on Sunday. Somebody is going to be offering you love or wanting to support you or, or you know, saying all kinds of nice things you see the hearts it's like they're they're blowing kisses at you or they're blowing hearts at you but there's a shark in the water you need to be careful there's something going on here you notice that shark there's definitely a shark in the water here okay so you got to be careful somebody could get hurt oh my god you got to be careful. You got to be careful for being love bombed. You got to be careful on Sunday. You may be getting messages of love from somebody, you know, that is uh, dangerous. <laughs> okay? Just saying. This is unaware of the danger. We have this person that is love struck that may be unaware of the danger. There's danger here. There is danger. Interesting. We have somebody that is very interested in you. They want to have a relationship with you. I think it's a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I do, probably a Scorpio, but it doesn't have to be. I think it is a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It could be a fire sign, but I don't know. I think that's the fire sign. It's either the Aries or the Taurus that, or the Leo or whoever it was or the Capricorn. It's the fire sign or the earth sign. I think it's Taurus or Aries myself that has abused, lied, not told the truth, left you in a lot of pain. And now we have an individual that is... Uh, Wanting to help, perhaps, you know, they may want to, to comfort you or try to comfort you or something like that. But I'm not sure that uh, everything is as it seems, put it that way. Um, the death reversed is a disaster. Could be a disaster. Could end just as quickly as it begins. 
There could be an accident with the death reversed that you never saw coming or an incident. And holding on is getting old, holding on to hope that there's, I think that, you, you know, on Friday, you guys have been holding on to hope that there's going to be a reconciliation with somebody that burned you and stabbed you and hurt you. And that's not the case. And I don't know if this is a boss or a family member or a father or a husband or a wife or whoever this is, but it's over. It's over. And I think that it's time for you to own up to the truth. There's a new opportunity for love here that you have been missing out on because if you're holding on to this fool and you may say, oh yeah, he's a fool because he doesn't love me. You're a fool. You're a fool as well for holding on to an individual that has moved on with somebody else. It's time to get up. It's time to get up and it's time to live again. On Sunday, Monday, this is Monday, the King of Swords reversed and the King of Pentacles reversed. On Sunday, you're, you're going to probably feel cold as ice. You are. You're probably going to feel cold and withdrawn and... Uh, hard and not wanting to communicate you may be feeling confused because whoever you're dealing with is not giving you anything the person that you are dealing with is only interested in money and sex and drugs either or any of those. They're not interested in love. Whoever you've been holding on to is not interested in love. And that may cause some bitter feelings. Anyway, on Monday I feel like um, you may feel withdrawn. You may feel withdrawn because whoever you've been uh, hoping for a reconciliation with is not interested. This person is very egotistical. They're lazy. They don't have anything to offer. They may... Uh, they're not very grounded. They're not stable. They're not secure. They're selfish, whoever it is that you're holding on to. I'm just being honest with you. I don't think there's going to be any communication with this person on Sunday. I don't. This person that you've been holding on to isn't even loyal. They're not loyal. And you haven't been seeing it clearly. In denial. But I think that throughout the week you are going to start to see. You are. Throughout the week you're going to start to see. And I think you're going to be letting something go. You're going to let something, you're going to be starting to let something go. Because you have a new love interest here who wants to help you heal. They want you to give them a chance. They want to have a new beginning with you. So I think Saturday you're going to be, you know, perhaps you're, you're making a decision to give the new person a chance. Good luck.